that was a, this year was sort of ahead of the game in, in certain big areas that we are particularly interested in at the Huffington Post, like, like health and wellness. You know, there were 26 sessions on the topic. I moderated a plenary session called Health is Wealth, uh, which included as well as the CEO of Nestle and the CEO of Novartis and the head of the National Health Institute, the finance minister of Colombia, which is very interesting you know, in terms of making the connection between the economic growth of a country and the health of a country. So I think that uh, um, a lot of these other sessions on this theme uh, around the neuroscientific findings on meditation and the benefits of that, on the brain, were really ahead of what was, is going on in many other conferences around the world. Well, I was, I was going to ask you this later, but let me, let me by health and, uh, health and wellness, or health and wealth, you were talking about more than just the, as it applies to an individual, is that correct? I mean, you were talking about economies as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we're talking on three levels. First of all, economies and the impact of uh, the health and well-being of citizens on, uh, on GDP. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about companies and the connection between the health of employees and the bottom line, which more and more countries are beginning to realize that if they actually invest in the health uh, of their employees, it's going to have a demonstrable impact on, uh, on the bottom line. And, and uh, one of the stars of Davos this year was Mark Bertolini, uh, the CEO of Aetna, the third largest health insurance company in the States with 49,000 employees, who had had his own kind of wake-up call when he had a, a skiing accident, broke his neck, and um, in the process of recovering, discovered yoga, meditation, acupuncture, and the tremendous benefits. So he made them available to his 49,000 employees and then brought Duke University to do an impact study that found that it reduced cost by 7%. It improved productivity by 69 minutes a day. So we are, what Davos demonstrated this year um, is that we are a long way from the 60s and, and looking at all these things as kind of new agey, flaky, mm. California products. <laughs> and we're actually here looking at the scientific evidence that human beings are not just their bodies, but they are their minds and spirits. And you need to incorporate all that if you're going to have a healthy nation, healthy companies, and healthy individuals. <laughs>